because I'm easy. I'm easy like Monday morning. Dude, I cannot drive with a fucking jacket on. We are disrobing, disrobing, going about 87 miles an hour. Am I wearing a seatbelt? Fuck no, because if I get in a car accident, I want to be dead, not maimed. You know what I mean? I'm not built for a wheelchair. Do they make them big enough for me? I don't think so. Shout out to Crippy. Dude, Crippy McCrippenstein, fucking, that's what he should change his handle to. Crippy McCrippenstein's nice. Send me some goddamn Christmas caramel, caramels. Do you guys say caramel or caramel? Caramel makes me seem like, I dated a girl named Caramel Rodriguez in middle school. Beautiful princess. But, um, yeah, dude. Do I say it like that? What was the point? He sent me Christmas caramels, and he was like, I thought, I was like, dude, my fucking porch pirates got him. Which still sounds like a racial slur to me. Porch pirate? That's offensive to Jack Sparrow, you know? Dude, being a pirate would be sick. But he sent me caramels, and I didn't think they were coming. And then we got them like a week after we got home from the hospital, and now my baby's mother's crushing these caramels. So shout out to him. I think he's from Min... I, I, I can't remember where anyone's from. I want to say Minnesota. Minnesota. I've been watching Fargo, so I can't stop talking to that accent. Dude, Daddy... Daddy just left the family. I abandoned my baby's mother. My baby's mother's busting my ass right now. She fucking... Women love putting stuff away. Organizing. There's no point. We have a baby. You know what I mean? Leave the diapers on the fucking ottoman. That's where I've been changing. That's where I've been getting the shit out of the cooter. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm a baby changing expert, by the way. I was born to do that. Um... Just putting shit away. Too organized for my taste, honestly. I'm on my way to beautiful New York City, the liberal hellhole of the East Coast. You know what I mean? I'm going to go do some rap. I'm going to go rap with rap. 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 Don't you wish you could rap? Sometimes I sit back and I'm like, what What was I born to do? Rap. But I don't know any of... I need a white, successful rap friend. I think that's what I need. I just saw a girl at Wawa with a suitcase. I'm like, bad look. Tough look. Freshly homeless. Still had the fucking beam in it. You know what I mean? She still she looked like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. God, I used to crush my meat to her. I loved Julia Roberts. Full mouth. Put your whole foot in there. But um fat lady eating a donut and a purple Dodge Charger. Shout out to her. Yeah, man. I uh what the fuck am I talking about? Pretty woman. Oh yeah, hooker at the uh, well. Maybe hadn't given into sex work. Can we start calling them hookers again? Sex workers I know is in, but fuck off. I hate that OnlyFans chicks call themselves sex workers now. I'm like, if you don't get the threat to get punched while you're doing your sex work, you're not a sex worker, dude. You know what I mean? That's a side job, all right? Yeah, if you don't got some fucking alcoholic breathing on the back of your neck while you're giving head, you're not a sex worker, dude. Get real. Maybe a stripper, I'll give you that. But, like, you're at least you're doing a performing art. I guess you're performing art by yourself doing OnlyFans. Like, I don't have a problem with it. I'm not one of these guys who's, like, fucking disgusting pigs. You know? If you would pay money... I got a gay guy that's in my DMs. Like, dude, you need an OnlyFans. I'm like, brother, I do not. You know, I can't imagine trying to be sexy while, like, being not clothed. You know, the only time you're going to catch me trying to be sexy is when I'm single at a goddamn oil, at a fucking beach bar. Shirtless, oiled up, so oiled, like a fucking dolphin. You know what I mean? Like a pasty dolphin. I actually get a nice golden brown going. What am I talking about again? OnlyFans? Yeah, you're not a sex worker, dude. I'm not buying that. I, you know? Like, I guess, yeah, but like, dude, what? What are like OnlyFans pimps? They just like DM back to chicks? I'm like, you kind of fucking... Put yourself in that situation, you know? It's pretty tough. But, what can you do? The Eagles are fucking finito, boy. I can't believe we're going to the playoffs. It's like, just fucking put us out back and put a bullet in our heads, dude. They be stink. It's so crazy, because it's obviously fucking coordinators. Everybody's on Sirianni's ass. I'm like, that retard, he just hired the wrong guys. You know what I mean? I, I'm not giving up on that WAP yet. Everybody's like, get him out of here, fire him. I will, I do have a sneaky suspicion that A.J. Brown's going to be a real fucking nightmare. You know what I mean? And he, I don't know, he's a beast, but Jesus Christ. 
what am I talking about again, dude? I feel so, it's gotta feel so good to leave your family. Like, the guilt would definitely get you at night, but leaving the house, being like, I'll see you in fucking five hours. I'm going back to work next week. MLM, multi-level marketing scheme. Did anybody ever try to get you with those? I just saw that on the side of a truck. I remember when I was in LA, I went out there with like a girl, like, when the fuck was that? You guys have no concept. I have no concept of time. I don't know if that's brain damage I got from alcoholism and concussions or what. Or I'm just dumb. I live my life quarter mile at a time, dude. I don't even remember what I said quarter mile ago. That's how I live. I, um, yeah, multi level marketing scheme. I was in fucking LA one time with a girl I was dating. Is that, that, that would want to be, that used to be one of my moves. I would like plan a vacation with the chick while we were dating. And then if we broke up, I'm like, crazy that this trip's in my name. Your name's on the other airplane ticket, so I guess I gotta go on vacation by myself. You know? But I actually went with this one. And, um, yeah, that was really was a wild move by me. I used to do some retarded shit when I was dating chicks. One time I was hooking up with a girl for like a week and I gave her a key to my apartment. Tom loco move on my part. But that's me. I shoot from the hip. I love fast and hard. For about three, well, three months, maybe. You know? That's how it works. But I was in LA and I was on a. We went to that. What's that fucking gay hike everybody does? Like walk in the dirt, but you can. I'm not hiking where I can see a city, dude. I'm not hiking at all. Matter of fact, I don't like hiking. Walk around, you know. But some guy, like it was so fun. I had a guy try to pitch me into getting into selling. I forget what the fuck this shit was called. Green leaf or whatever. The one of them fucking nonsense herbal things. And I was like, chief. How about you back up before you get fucking leg kicked? Because I was shredded at the time. I will give him it. If you want, if you had the face of a fucking health organization, you want me at the face at that time. I had a beautiful man bun, glistening abs in the summer sun. Yeah, that was a real treat. But I don't know why I was talking about that. But I do hate hiking. I'm not an outdoors guy. You know what I mean? When I was a kid, I did like catching lizards and such. You know, a little lizard. I wanted to be a herpetologist. Like Steve Irwin. That would have been nice, dude. Wiggers need to get into the outdoors. I guess John Del Calo does that. Yeah, he's one of the more wiggery outdoors that I know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Camping. If I'm leaving my house and sleeping somewhere, I want to sleep in a goddamn bed. I want to go fucking bang my chicken in a La Quinta Inn or something. You know? I'm so sick of going to fucking uh, all-inclusive weddings, though. Or, what are they called? Destination weddings? I gotta go to two... I gotta go to Mexico two more times. Everybody wants to get married in Mexico. And, dude, my girlfriend, she's, like, starting to get anxiety about baby stuff now, which is pretty sick. She's like, yeah, yeah, like, we... we apparently, the babies love... I'm scratching my nuts right now. <laughs> I gotta make sure... Yeah, what? It's crazy my balls make kids now. I guess they always capable. I've had a couple of abortions in my day, but this one didn't take. We tried to play a beer. My cum was like, not this time, Chief. We touch pushed it in. You know what I mean? But um, what the fuck am I talking about? All-inclusive weddings. I'm sick of it. I'm not into it. All Island weddings are for tan people, okay? The past three all-inclusive weddings I've been to, it's a bunch of pasty fucking white guys sweating. I'm the same color as the goddamn material of my suit. Everybody gets those, like, what's that material called? It's like fucking linen. Is it linen? Black guys look good at linen. They're built for the linen. White guys, I'm like, dude, I can't wear a suit that's the same color as my fucking skin. Christ. But, um, da -da -da. yeah, I just, I'm done spending money to go to people's weddings. Dude, my girlfriend's friends, stop getting married. I don't think I've had a single friend get married. My buddy Dan got married, but I had to go to fucking Manion for that. You know? This baby, though, dude, she is putting a beat down on your boy. Last night I did stand-up for, I think, the first time since I've had her. I did it one more time. I guess I did, like, a... Oh, I did Soul Joel Soul with Shana. And, um... It was fun, but I'm like, dude, I was, like, slurring words like I was drunk. I'm like, I'm not even drunk. I'm just, like... Putting a baby to sleep is like going to sleep with like trying to convince yourself to go to bed while you're coked up. Not that I've ever done that, but I'm like, I bet it's the same. I bet you regret a lot of stuff while you're trying to get them to go to bed or get yourself to go to bed. You know what I mean? 
And it's tough because you're basically worthless. Like, dudes, I can't do nothing right now. I don't got tits. Being a girl stinks. Dude, my girl wakes up every morning and it's like, those titties are just overflowing, chief. It literally looks like you got, you guys know what a hose bib is? Like when you got a leaky hose bib and the faucet's just dripping nonstop. My bed sheets got little, dude, it's so funny. You could come into my house and track my girl's movements because there's literally just tit milk drops. It looks like breadcrumbs, you know what I mean? Just showing you where she was. I'm like, are these cum drips on the floor? I'm like, no, that is fucking God's nectar. How about this? You never see these anymore. Those Twinkie fucking... Right? What are they, what are they called? Is that a mobile home? How about tiny houses, huh? Did that craze stop? I'm not trying to live in a house where if I fart, I can smell it in every room of my house. It's not happening. It's up in the loft. Those people... I really do love that that's the model of, like, what channel is that on, like, TLC, Tiny House? Those producers got to just go state to state. Like, wait until you see the fucking freaks we found, dude. What is this? Everybody texted me while I'm trying to fucking work, dude. I'm conducting business right now. I'm doing my art. God. It's also so... It's annoying to drive to New York and not do a stand-up show. You know? Even though New York really does, it's finished, right? Is, is New York done? Everybody's got to move to Philly now. I had a show last night at Punchline, opening for, uh, fuck's his name, Nick Simmons. He is a jacked motherfucker. That's the first time I've done comedy with a guy that's jacked. I don't think I've ever worked with a headliner who was jacked before. But, uh, very funny guy. But, um, what was the point of that? At Punchline, dude, Punchline's my enemy. Not my enemy, but, like, I'm a helium guy. Fucking bury me in the fucking cigarette alley, dude. Also, Ricky, the fucking security guy, slash comedian, slash artist, he's been doing, like, a wall of fame, like, a Philly wall of fame and drawing people's, uh, like, faces with fucking crowns and shit. I don't know what artists do. Marker? Paint? Some kind of paint instrument. And he fucking drew me. I'm like, dude, you better fucking clean that up because I looked ugly. And I'm like, I'm literally one of the only hot people in Philly comedy. There's a bunch of mongoloids. Just disgusting piles of shit in Philly comedy. I was discussing with one of my business associates, Naeem, last night. We should be out, you should be able to tell a couple people to quit. Like, force them to quit a year. You know what I mean? Because I feel like if there was a silent vote on a lot of these people, everybody would be like, you know. They, like, people that if they died right now, everybody would be like, oh, oh, fucking great guy. I'd be like, fucking good riddance, dude. You know. Get them out of here. I don't want to have to hear this. I don't want to have to see it. You know? I've been big on unfollowing people on Instagram, by the way, recently. If you do, like, three things on it... Like, I wouldn't care if you unfollowed me. Actually, because there's a couple people, like, comedians you meet, like, on the, like, different cities, and you're like... You just follow each other as, like, a courtesy, I guess. And then, uh... You know what I mean? I start seeing your comings and goings and what doing. So I'm like, I don't like this fucking guy. I don't like this lady. You know what I mean? They gotta go. They're just too annoying. Like, if I saw you once in a while and you were that annoying, I'd be like, alright, this guy's just retarded. Um, but then the other day, some chick I forgot I met in New York. And she was just driving me fucking nuts. And I was like, fucking unfollow. Like, I'm not gonna mute you. I'm not, no muting. There's no muting. We break up. Alright? I'm not leaving the door open. We don't fuck when we're both in town, all right, you get broken up with, I don't follow, you're done, and then I saw, I saw her pop up on somebody's story, I know, fucking just doing the same thing, I'm not a fucking, what's that called, what is it called when it's like, I don't, it, is that alt comedy, like, I don't know the fucking names of things, you know, I don't like it, whatever this thing is that they're doing, it's like that fucking Brooklyn, like, isn't this like goofy, I'm like, no, it's not goofy, you know what I mean? Chris Farley was goofy. You're doing... I don't know what the fuck this is. This is like... I, I can't I can't describe it. That's how dumb I am. I'm talking shit on somebody else and I don't even know what I don't like. That's Mamba. Mamba number five, baby. A Ford Mamba? What the fuck is that? A Raptor Mamba? Shout out, Kobe. Beat the case, but people are still giving him flack, huh? But yeah. So, I don't know what the fuck this kind of comedy is. It's like weird, like... Isn't this goofy? I'm dressed like a guy, but I'm a lady. 
like doing like Pratt Falls. I'm like, fucking God, I don't want to see it. All right, fucking get up on stage, barely move, and be funny. That's that's what stand up is. That's why I like it. Is this guy got a Dale Earnhardt license plate? What am I doing? My ADD is popping, boy. That Wawa cough is coursing through my veins. That is a Dale Earnhardt license plate. Fucking shout out to him. NASCAR. I wish I could get into that. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I hated this lady, and then uh, and then I click on her profile just to be like, let me piss myself off. Do you guys ever do that? Everybody's like, stay off social media in the morning. Don't look, read anything negative. I'm like, nah, dude, I want that to course through me. I need fuel for the day. I'm fueled by hatred. You know what I mean? Foster runs on hate. I'm like fucking America on Duncan. I need hate and caffeine. I need to be angry. Not angry, just like, I need some level of disgust. You know, I think that's what gets me going. Anyway, the fucking lady, she pops up on somebody's story, and I look at her, and I'm like, you know what? It says, like, follow back if someone follows you, and you don't follow them. And I'm like, this bitch unfollowed me? The fuck did I do? But, fuck her, you know? But, yeah, I don't remember what the point of that was, huh? I mean, this is crazy. The biggest thing about, like, doing this podcast by yourself, you just find out that all your middle school teachers were right about you. I am an idiot. And that's all right. You know? This is the country to live in if you're a fucking moron. You can drive 90 miles an hour and make art. You can do content, dude. That's what this is about. Speeding past lesbians driving Subarus, Suburbans. Subarus. I used to love Subarus, dude. Not Subarus, Suburbans. I actually used to love Subarus, too. I used to work at a Subaru dealership. I'd be like, yeah, I could drive stick, and then I'd just mangle people's WRXs and steal their change. But I was a young man with a bowl cut. What could you do? I actually didn't have a bowl cut at that time. I had a fucking... Uh, Mayfair fate, you know what I mean, I had one of the real nice, did you guys, were you at, ever at the point where you would get points instead of sideburns, literally, barbers would cut your shit to like a fucking perfect little point, and then take a razor, and edge your hairline so fucked up, so fucked up, and you would be like, this is it, and I would still get pussy like that, so shame on all the women I knew in high school, that's what this comes down to, who my next oil change to? Still got 3,000, uh, something like that. 4,000 4, miles to our next one. We got to put some miles on this boy. Some fucking dick. What was I talking about before that? Women I hate. Comedians I hate. Mm, I don't know. I am pumped to go to gas, though. There's this pizza place. Every time I come here, I get this pizza. And I'm like, <laughs> I love it. I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of the pizza. I love pizza, dude. I had pizza last night. Vince's in Fishtown. I always forget it's there. There used to be one on Grand Ave that I used to go to. And then they open another location and they're failing. It looks like it's failing. Do you guys see a failing business and I'm like, I need to fucking single-handedly turn them. I need to write this shit. Write it. I probably won't though because I'll forget about it. That it I'll forget that it exists because I never go to Punchline. You know? It's right there. I just, you know. I... I, it sucks the Eagles are gay now. So crazy. That's like it, that, that's the thing that sucks about Hurts. You like love that he shows no emotion when you're winning, but then when you're losing, you're like, can you fucking slam something? You know what I mean? Show me that you love me. You know? Like my girlfriend now. Every girl I've ever dated is like a psychopath. My girl now, the mother of my children is a psycho, but she argues very monotone. I guess that's because she's German. You know what I mean? And, like, she'll talk to you like you're in some kind of business meeting. And I'm like, I'm a fucking loud talker. You know what I mean? So stop yelling at me. I'm not yelling. I have emotion, okay? I'm an emotional guy. I'm an artist. I got a screen cunt. It's important to me. Case against your employer? CSI group. Change the name. I don't like it. CSI law firm? I keep seeing a commercial. Also, do you guys get, like, fucking... My, we have, like, Hulu and shit and, like, fucking all the online streaming shit, which I'm fucking done with, dude. I am finito. I'm going back to cable, dude. I'm so sick of having to figure out what fucking app is playing the game I'm trying to watch, dude. I want to be able to go four channels, switch them up, and fucking put on the goddamn Eagles game. But there's a commercial that's for CSI whatever the fuck. They do CSI Miami, and isn't the star of the fucking show some leprechaun-looking motherfucker? I'm like, 
he got he beat Dead by Melanoma season three. Dead by Melanoma, from Melanoma. Who's Melanoma? But we keep getting targeted ads, and I'm like, my girl's like, are you gay? Because it's my Hulu account, and they're showing me like fucking. What are the uh, what's the gay Tinder? Grinder, grinder. Yeah, they're just show. It's like all that AIDS commercials, and then a lot of like they'll throw in a Spanish commercial sometimes. I'm like, I've never even had a Spanish girlfriend. What the fuck's going on here? I thought they were supposed to like cater to you with fucking ads. The whole time we're in the hospital, they're just showing fucking. What's the what's the one they play at Christmas with the dead kids? St. Jude's. I'm like, hey, dude, read the fucking room. I got a fresh baby here. I don't need this mad, bad Juju. Where's Juju come from? Juju Smith-Schuster, the TikTok star? I don't think so. That guy really fell apart, huh? What team's he even on anymore? I don't know. I can't get enough of Antonio Brown. It's so nice to watch him. I, it's not good, but I do like to watch someone mentally unravel in public. That's a good time. Ironic of me to say, because it seems like I'm mentally unraveling every goddamn time I talk to myself on this podcast. <laughs> I will be honest, though. This part of the New York trip, I do get confused where my exit is. Do we take the Verrazano? I'm a Holland Tunnel guy. I like going under the tunnel. How the fuck do they build it under the water? Nobody knows. It's one of the best kept secrets of the government. That and what happened to John Robert F. Kennedy. Is it... Robert F. Kennedy, John, John Francis Kennedy, what the fuck's his middle name, Franklin, Johnny Frankenstein Kennedy, John, because there's like 17 of those brothers, huh, pussy getters, good for them, were they, how many of those brothers porked Marilyn Monroe, just two, one, I need to get into history or something, what am I going to get into, now that I'm a dad, I need some kind of annoying hobby, some would say it's comedy, but it's not. I was born to talk about dumb women on stage. That's what I was built for. I guess. Will I get into, like, more dumb women comedy? Because now I can't get side pussy anymore. Because it's just like, what's, you know. I don't have the time. I don't have time for a side bitch right now. You know what I mean? I'm 35. Getting side pussy's gay now. Who was I just talking to about that? Mm. I forget. Industrial market leader at exits 8A and 10. But you don't even advertise your thing? Heller Industrial Park? Suck it, brother. Do you guys ever work in an industrial park? I've worked in so many industrial parks. That's, I mean, I think that's pretty easy to tell, judging by my personality and overall intelligence. This guy has definitely worked in a warehouse. I worked in a couple warehouses. Both of them were for uncles. Meno Goyabo. Change that name too. That's what I should do. I should do remarketing for businesses. Like, <laughs> you got a retarded name. We'll start there. I should be like John Hamm in that Mad Men show and just come up with fucking slogans and bang January Jones. Shout out to me for remembering her name, dude. Whoa, brother. January Jones. Jones up for some of that push. She seemed like a real cunt. I love mean women. But yeah, I worked a lot of warehouse jobs. <laughs> am I remembering all the things I was talking about today? Looks like I am. I, um, my first job, one of my first, well, my first warehouse job was working for my uncle at fucking, I worked at an Estee Lauder factory. Have I talked about this? I had to. I don't care. Get it. I was working there like fucking not, when can you start driving? 10th grade? 11th grade? But me and a dude, me and one of my boys growing up worked there. With, it was just us, two other white guys, and then billions of Indians. Indians everywhere. Show Bob. Um, and it was my uncle Bob I worked for. Shout out to him. Um, I don't remember the point of this, but yeah, that was a retarded job. I got caught sleeping at that job. My uncle was like, dude, we have the same last name. You're fucking my ass here. This is no good. And I started valet and did that. That was the funnest job. Highly recommend if you're a young guy, get into valet. Doesn't matter if you can't drive stick. Figure it out on someone's $80,000 car. That's what I did. Because I'm a man, trailblazer of the industry. But, and then I worked, what was the other warehouse? I worked for my other uncle at a, uh, hospital bed business. I probably have cancer from that job because we had to like clean fucking dead people's beds. What the fuck was I thinking with that one? Well, I was thinking it paid good and I was selling weed and it was like, it worked. But yeah, he caught me sleeping on that job too and he's like, brother, you know how embarrassing it is for your manager to wake you up on the floor of an abandoned office? You know, 
tough times. Tough times. Did I did I take a couple easy passes out of their delivery trucks and voyage up and down the East Coast with them? Yes, I did. So like, who keeps going to Penn State? Somebody keeps going to Penn State and wild them with these trucks. I'm like, no, they don't. <laughs> it's in my Dodge Durango. And I'm getting pussy. That's what I'm doing, dude. I'm trying to extend our bloodline. God, I keep thinking about how much does that suck? Like, I get I guess it's not that common to find out you had like a love child. But that would blow dick to find out you had another goddamn kid. Like, ah. Ah. But I don't know, dude. This has been 25 minutes. And I'm going to get through this podcast and be like, I don't want to talk. I just had all the best conversations I could have. Also, if I record this podcast and then go on another podcast, I don't want to listen to people talk more than I normally do. Sometimes I hear people talk and I'm like, <laughs> no. You know? But I can't talk like this on someone else's podcast because then I'm rude. So I have to be like, teach me about, mm, I don't know. I do have to come up with a fucking thing for Chris Wood's show. I got to make a goddamn slideshow. Ugh. Well, my girlfriend has to make a slideshow for me while I dictate it. That's what really is going to happen. Because I'm not making slideshows, dude. I don't fucking type. I haven't typed since Oregon Trail. That's a lie. I've done a book report for sure. I don't know on what. One time I did a, a book report on a... Whatchamacallit. I was trying to bang this chick. And I knew this would make me look good. So I brought my autistic sister in as my topic. And I was like, get in there, you little tart. Do it for daddy. Do it for the old gipper. And then I finally did bed that lady and got the worst head I've ever had. I had to stop her. I said, it's not that, I don't need that much teeth. There must have been some porn star that was like showing us some kind of scraping technique at the time. Because the toothy blowjobs I got from fucking 20, 2009 to 2012 were off the charts. Like, dude, what are you doing? It's already circumcised, bitch. Christ. I gotta stop degrading women. That's, that's not degrading. I say bitch in a loving way. You can tell. There's no there's no hate in my heart when I call someone a bitch. You know what I mean? Why does every foreigner have a BMW? What am I not doing right? These Russian guys got them all. Yeah, I don't know, man. But it's Monday. I'll put this bitch out tomorrow morning. Try to bang out one more. I keep trying to be like, hey, I'm going to record me working on my house. I got to put hi-hats in the living room, swap out some fans. But, uh... I need my bitch daughter to chill. We gotta take her in tomorrow for a doctor's appointment. We gotta see what my baby weighs. We gotta put her on the scales, the scales of truth. Oh, God. Dude, my glasses come tomorrow. I had to go to Warby Parker. Did we talk about this? I'm so fucking blind. I got hit in the eye with a hockey stick when I was a kid. My one eye. Apparently, I got a stigmatism. Did I talk about this? Dude, my brain. I mean, I'm dumber than usual. I gotta go. I gotta figure out what exit I'm getting off at. I can't fucking get this drive down. Maybe it's because my body just... My brain knows I hate New York. I I like it, but I don't... I can't imagine living here. I don't know, like... You know how big of a pussy you gotta be to move here at 22 and not die? Come on, dude. What are you fucking... Do you have it together? I'd be dead. I'm still shocked. I don't know right now if you gave me free reign to go to a college... Just completely, you know, I guess that's a lie. But when I was fucking 18, you would have caught me. Winter break, I'd be in a fucking body bag. I would have drank myself to death and had two kids. But this has been a fun one, I guess. I don't know. Has it been? Who knows? Who's to say? Who's to judge me? Only God. I got to get in my Catholicism. We're so back into Catholicism, dude. Yeah, but you can't judge me, dude. All right. I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta.